Hi, I'm Father Thaddeus Langton with the 90 Days for the Souls in Purgatory. Today is day 52. Today we pray for those who committed sins against the love of God, and we turn to paragraph 2094 of the Catechism. One can sin against God's love in various ways. Indifference, neglects or refuses to reflect on divine charity, it fails to consider its prevenient goodness and denies its power. Ingratitude fails or refuses to acknowledge divine charity and to return him love for love. Lukewarmness is hesitation or negligence in responding to divine love. It can imply refusal to give oneself over to the prompting of charity. Acedia or spiritual sloth goes so far as to refuse the joy that comes from God and to be repelled by divine goodness. Hatred of God comes from pride. It is contrary to love of God whose goodness it denies and whom it presumes to curse as the one who forbids sins and inflicts punishments. There's quite a few here. One would think that perhaps there's simply the lack of responding to God's love that would be the sin against his love, but perhaps what's most problematic in the world today is what was listed as first, indifference. In ages past, there were open persecutions against the faith, for instance, in Mexico in the 1920s or Rome in the first centuries. But today, the plague around the world is sheer indifference. Ah, well, Jesus is kind of important. Maybe he's some nice teacher who has a few moral values to teach us. But by far, what plagues human hearts is the indifference to just how much Jesus has loved us, which is his complaint to St. Margaret Mary Alacoque when he reveals his sacred heart. Behold this heart that has loved men so much and is so little loved by them. And that leads to the next of ingratitude, just a lack of awareness of how much God loves us that then leads to, well, what am I grateful for? If I'm not even aware that he loves me that much, how could I be grateful for that immense love? And that's Jesus' complaint to St. Margaret Mary. He, he doesn't need something from us, but he does desire that we, we recognize his love and that we have gratitude for love, returning love for love. That's all he desires is the return of our love. And lukewarmness, this hesitation or negligence in responding to divine love, which Jesus says specifically in the book of Revelation in one of the letters to the churches that he vomits that out of his mouth because he would prefer that we be hot or cold, but not simply lukewarm. And then acedia, which is this rejection of the joy that comes from God's presence. God is pure happiness, St. Thomas Aquinas says. And when we don't experience that, it points to a block in our hearts, often of indifference or ingratitude or lukewarmness, a lack of our own response to God, because that joy comes from our love for him, of returning that love for love. And the hatred of God, which is the most extreme, of preferring sin and being angry with God because God forbids the sin that we love more than we love him, which is what he calls pride here. Pride where we prefer ourselves and our own wills to God and his will, which as St. Faustina writes is love and mercy itself. And so I encourage you, pray today a Divine Mercy Chaplet or Chaplet of the Ten Virtues for all these souls, for those who neglected or failed to respond to God's love by offering their love back to him. If you'd like to light a candle for the holy souls, please visit marion.org slash poor souls candle. May the Virgin Mary's Immaculate Conception be our salvation and our protection. St. Stanislaus Papchinsky, pray for us and for the souls in purgatory.